able to see it uh, wow. firsthand. I've been involved in the design process of this car going forward, but I haven't seen the car. We've only, you know, I've only seen some, some sheets of metal and choosing the proper paint codes and all that stuff and seeing it on paper. Uh, this brings back a lot of memories. Uh, this is the car that I raced in 1999 in five races to yep. sort of get my feet wet in Full the, season in, in 2000. The series. Yep. And uh, good gosh, I think this is really from what I could tell once we announced that we were going right. to unveil this car on QVC. I know a lot of the fans I've been watching on social media, and this is what everyone was hoping for. That was a very special night indeed. Now, again, we unveiled that car. No one, including Dale himself, had seen what paint scheme would be his final paint scheme in Monster Energy Cup competition. It used to be called Winston Cup, it used to be called Nextel Cup, it used to be called Sprint Cup. Now, here's the story on it. For those of you who look at the car, you go, it's a red car. No, no, no. If you're a junior fan, you understand those stripes in black were referred to as the Little E stripes. And it was indeed a throwback created by the artist Sam Bass, who was in that videotape. He was sitting in the chair right in the corner, right behind Dale and one of the executive vice presidents from Azalta. He had created this paint scheme when Dale was driving for his, his late father in 1999, starting off his cup career, and then in the year 2000. So they exemplified that same striping from his very first ride to be driven when he gets to Homestead for his very, very last rides. $69.98 is the price tag. We unveil it to America. We were the first place to have it available. We had exclusivity on it for a short period of time, and we now still have an opportunity to present it so that you can get it in time for Christmas. No one else that I am aware of will have it in time for Christmas. At $69.98, we're taking an advanced order. It'll ship out on the 14th. Uh, I'm sorry, no, no, December 8th. December 8th. But that will give us plenty of time to get it to you. And if you are an Aaron Hart fan, most popular driver, 14 years in a row, this is your chance to do it. Because there is no guarantee how many of these the great folks at Lionel will be able to manufacture. Now our show for race fans only was incredibly popular. It was one of the, the most watched shows at 8 p.m. on Friday nights. And then we took seven years off, went back, did this one in August, and I get questions on Facebook and emails regularly, will we do it again? The answer is we're trying. Uh, it's very difficult to get back into this arena, but I had a long conversation with the president of Lionel Disc uh, Diecast, and his name is, is Howard Hitchcock, great guy. Worked with him for almost 20 years to create so many of the pieces of Diecast that we presented over the years. This one is special. This one is extraordinary. This is the last one. In regular cup competition, this will be the last paint scheme that Junior will run, and he is retired. Last year, for those of you who aren't Earnhardt fans, you know this, but uh, he had a head injury. And concussions are something that doctors and now athletes have to be much, much more concerned about uh, because they can be life-changing. He was out for 18 races, and it was enough for him, enough time for him and his new bride, Amy, to sit back and go, why am I doing this? So he's gonna retire healthy. He becomes a, a sports analyst for one of the major networks. And we'll still see him. He still is a, an important figure in NASCAR and will continue to be so as an owner and a representative of the sport. But this is your chance to pick up his farewell ride. And all year long, all year long, he's been pressing this fact. Take a look down here. Thank you, Junior Nation. His retirement year has not been about him. This year has been his chance to say, Hey, thanks. This has been pretty incredible for the years that he was able to run. Uh, he created his own legacy, his own future. Uh, I remember I've had him on the show. I think it was, it's now been 14 different times. And I was picking on him back in August saying, man, when I first worked with you, I couldn't get two words out of you. And now you're going to be an analyst for NBC. Uh, he's going to be a phenomenal sports analyst. I think he's going to add a lot of color to each and every race that he broadcasts. This could be fun to listen. So we're pleased to have been a part of that farewell. I think those of you who are fans know just how important this car is. If you want it, get it. Get it now. Don't wait. We'll have it there and we'll ship it on December 8th. Carolyn, what do you have? Thanks, Dan. 
All right, we're going to move into a great gift section of the show right now with my friend Walt Augustinowitz. Walt and his company, ID Stronghold, are the ones that originated back in 2005, this way to protect your information from being broadcasted out of your wallet uh, mm -hmm. with this RFID protective technology. A lot of credit cards still use RFID technology. Some of them do not. You can ask your bank about yours if you want to know for sure. But I always just default to being safe yep. and putting all of my information, my IDs, my credit cards into an RFID. ID protected wallet or handbag. Mm -hmm. um, yours was selected by uh, the U.S. Patent Magazine um, and gave it some pretty good press yeah. about why yours was so great. Also, I know a lot of uh, U.S. government offices mm -hmm. use your type of RFID protection. Correct. So yeah. uh, what we have for you here is something simple that you can get in a set of two, each with its own gift box, mm -hmm. in these great little Croco minis with zippers. Now, they're called minis, but you yeah. can fit a lot inside. You can, yeah. My husband doesn't use his big <laughs> fat wallet anymore in the back pocket. This goes right in the front pocket. I have mm -hmm. one in my purse as well that I carry around. Around. Um, let me show you the color choices and then I'll let you kind of explain sure. how these work. Absolutely. So let me start down here with the blue, which we have back in stock now. It always sells out. Please don't wait if you want the blue. And you're getting two, and you're getting two of these boxes. All right. So two of the uh, mini wallets, two boxes. We also have the black. Right here we have it for you in what we're calling burnt orange, but think of that as more of like a cognac yeah. color. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah. We also have it for you in brown, and that's also a nice, rich kind mm -hmm. of a, like a root beer barrel color. Yeah, really that's pretty. what I'm using, yeah. Up here is the set of red, and then our most limited is this set, which is called Merlot, and that's a really pretty burgundy set. And mm -hmm. again,